before we go to the uh, the SLEX, uh, Mr. Chairman, just one more thing. Kanina na raised na ni Congressman Momo yung question, which was also in my mind. Ano ba ang threshold talaga natin to say and accept that there is a transportation crisis? Or is it just really we are splitting hairs on terminologies here? Nasabihin nyo, walang transportation crisis kasi nandyan naman yung mga unit na makasasakyan. Nakakarating naman yung mga tao sa nalala pa kapupuntahan nila. But, imagine nyo, Philippine Coast Guard had to deploy their units. Philippine Coast Guard had to save people for them to go to work. We have to issue special permits ng transportation. We have to get angkas to step in and give free rides. Isn't that a definition of a crisis? Yung nararamdaman ng mga tao, crisis eh. When we see people going to LRT2 at 6 a.m., kita mo nakapress sila lahat kung saan nakasarado pang game, it all has the appearance and feeling of a crisis. But we, we say, hindi, walang transportation crisis kasi meron naman mga sasakyan na nandyan pa. Okay, if we're going to go to semantics, would you accept that we have a mobility crisis? Mr. Chair, if I may po. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, siguro po kasi nung napag-uusapan napag itong mass transportation crisis nitong mga nakaraang araw, uh, meron pong konteksto yung pinaggamitan po nung crisis. And yun po yung konteksto yeah. na paralisado na wala na pong uh, masakyan na talagang wala na pong alternatibo uh, na masasakyan yung mga tao. So yan po yung sinasabi natin na uh, hindi naman po ganun siguro yung kondisyon. Pero that is not to say po na hindi napakalaki po nung problema. In fact po, from the very beginning po, nung 2016 pa lang, kinikilala na po yan na ni Pangulo po, ni Secretary Dugade, at yan po yung naging dahilan kung bakit po 2016 pa lang, ay nanghingi na po tayo nung karagdagang uh, emergency powers nga po na tinatawag natin, na ngayon po ay hindi na natin pinipursue sa DOTR dahil wala na pong panahon. Pero siguro po, uh, going beyond, uh, crisis ba yan, ano ba ang extent yan, siguro po isang magandang tignan na lang po is yung response. Kasi po, kung titignan po natin yung response ngayon ng DOTR, ay talagang pang, kahit na po ang tawagin natin yan, yung kasalukuyan po nating investments in mass transportation po is probably bigger po than what we have invested in the last two decades put together. Nung nag-umpisa po tayo, we have 27 kilometers po of operating rail mass transport. Right now po, we are fully financed, meaning po effective ang lahat ng concessionary loan agreements natin. Meron na po tayo mga award na contracts. Meron na po tayo mga ongoing procurement to 1,144 kilometers. Ang target po natin is 1,900 in the next two and a half years. So sa road sector po, kita naman natin yung key modernization po natin. Talaga pong desidido tayo na itulak yan. Uh, sa, sa sinasabi nga po, wala din ni Secretary Gade, hindi po tayo itigil dyan. Talaga pong kailangan yan, kailangan pong mangyari yan. At uh, masaya po tayo na kasama natin yung progress po. Uh, kasi pag mass transport po, nasan uh, po yung trend po yung naiisip natin. Pero siguro po yung isang napakahalagang aspeto po na tingnan, is yung bus system po natin is actually a bigger component po of the mass transport uh, system at uh, siguro po yun kung titingnan po natin uh, all together yung response po natin yan, ay talaga po kinala natin na napakalaki po ng problema napakalaki po ng kailangan tugunan at kasalukuyan po yung tugon ay ongoing po yung tugon po ay ini-implement na at uh, siguro po uh, yun yung uh, konteksto lang po dun sa mga usapan uh, recently po doon sa transportation crisis well, Mr. Chairman, uh, I can't, I can't debate with the, the steps that are being taken. Uh, probably, what uh, my a piece of advice that I could give to the agencies involved. Buksan naman natin yung sensitivity natin sa mga tao. That's part of it as government. 
Uh, I don't think it will work, no? Hindi, hindi gagana yung maglista tayo ng napakahaba lista ng ginagawa natin. If we don't make people feel that we have empathy for them, kasi sa totoo lang, yung reaction na, ano, there is a feeling of government denying that there is a crisis. Ano? Ay, nagtatalo tayo sa definition ko rin ng crisis. But the very basic fact here is that people feel that there is a crisis. And part of the role of government is to make people feel better. Diba? Ano ba yung sinabi doon sa Ambition 2040? Maging hawang buhay. Eh yung nagko-commute ngayon, bumabiyahe ngayon, sa tingin ba natin, maging hawa pa kinamitang nila? Hindi. Maging hawa is a matter of ano eh, yung pakiramdam eh. Hindi nila nararamdaman yun. And then, ang pakiramdam nila, may crisis tayo. And then, when we stand there and say na wala, wala crisis. When in fact, ang pakiramdam nga ng tao, may crisis, it makes matters worse. So, sometimes, it's just messaging ang problema natin. Communication. Kasi yun ang feeling on the ground eh. The fact that we are doing all of those things. Kanina, you mentioned, dapat, dapat siguro merong creation of a central authority on traffic. Uh, that, those are the signs na we are in a crisis mode. So when people hear na sabi natin walang crisis, it's like denying them what they're feeling. Siguro yun ang dapat i-consider. I appreciate all the steps. I bear. Katutok naman ako sa transportation issues and I see what's, what's being done. But making people feel better with the difficulty they are facing is probably one of the roles that we have in government. Misan, it will make people feel good na o inire-recognize yung problema namin. Kasi yun yung situation on the ground. That's what's happening. And even I feel guilty pag nakikita ko sa mga sa news, uh, uh, sa uh, social media, the situation of the ordinary person na uh, who's trying to get public transport. In the morning, sabihin natin, pag tinignan nyo ngayon, kayo, nasa LRT, nakita nyo naman yung nangyari itong past few days. Kami, doon sa, sa ano ngayon, sa SLEX, uh, merong, merong ginawa na uh, supposed to be alleviating measures sa traffic plan para ito segue na dun sa pagpasok nila. Implemented last night. Ngayon, nako. Again, gumabalik ko sa statement ko, muntin lupa is shutting down because of this. But I understand there is development going on. But the plight of the people, yung nakakaramdam, yung paghihirap, let's not deny them yung pakiramdam na yun. Make it easier for people.